Hello, it's me again. Today is going to be a short video is about Aruba Central. Now, as you are aware of the fact that Aruba Central has become part of HP GreenLake as the complete cloud or edge to cloud platform. Now, um, I would like to focus on two uh, elements or two uh, features in Aruba. And we will talk about how to create customers and how to manage um, devices, map them to the customer, what changes that have been uh, in Aruba Central recently. So let's go and let's make a start. Now I assume that you already have an account. You look into the normal um, as usual. If you go to Aruba Central, um, you will be redirected to a green lake. Now in this case, we have multiple accounts and we're going to select the MSP account uh, for that specific customer. Now that customer has only Aruba Central as an application. Um, now we can see the list of customers. There's no more account home on the top, top left corner as it used to be in the past. And you can see now from there, you can go to services, which takes you back to um, HBE GreenLake. And this is where, for example, you can manage account. This is where you can add your customers. So you add a customer, click on the customer, add the customer uh, button. Here, the dashboard, and you can see the application that is uh, mapped to that specific account is Aruba Central. Obviously, if you have other things like other services in HPE, GreenLake as a cloud service, uh, but we're focusing only on Aruba Central. Now, that's an example of how to add a customer. You will fill the customer details and you're going to create that account. The customer has been successfully created. Now, this is the way to create a customer, and we can see the customer is there. So you can go to the customer account and you can manage that account from within HPE GreenLake. Now, that customer, as you can see, uh, we will need to map the application to the customer. Again, you click on the application, or you now you, you manage the account for the customer, like APIs, identity, and so on. You click on the application, and you need uh, to invite a customer or a user. We just click on invite user. And uh, simply speaking, you just add the user that you would like to receive an email. So that specific user now, uh, will receive an email. Um, you will assign the role for that specific user. So then uh, in this case, we go for account administrator. The user should receive an email of invitation if the user wasn't there. So uh, the user can log in after that. If that user uh, basically had an account, uh, then they, could be, they should be able to log in without any issues. Now, that user account doesn't have any application mapped to it. So assume that user will log in, the user will be denied any access to anywhere. The reason for that, the user has no accounts or it has no applications to map to that account. To map the application, you log in as the MSP user and you will go to that specific user and you will add the application, which is basically you're gonna set up the application Choose the region where the customer belongs to and deploy that specific application to that customer. In this specific case, it is Aruba Central. So now you log in as that customer and you'll find that application being denied. Now adding application is one step, but there's another step that we should perform as MSP. So you log in now as an MSP again, and you need to add a role for that specific customer to be able to use that application. And that's a tricky part of it because there are two things here, the actual application or the actual service that that specific user has got. In this case, it's Aruba Central and the actual HBE GreenLake account. Uh, what we're going to do, we go to manage, click on identity, uh, user detail, account details, and I click on managing roles. Here we can see this is the user called Wizlane 10. You're going to edit and you're going to update um, the assignment. So edit assignment, add a role. You can see that there are two types in here because we have Aruba Central as an application. You can select one of these. So we're going to go for Aruba Central Administrator and you're going to add. Now, this is the other role for the, um, for the cloud service, which is basically... Um, uh, common cloud service. Plus, we need to make sure that we uh, we define a scope. We have to assign that user the groups so they can, 
when they log into their account, they can manage their account, they can see groups, they can create groups, and so on and so forth. Now we get this that you see now this user has got the two role assignments, one for Aruba Central, one for the common cloud service. Um, assume that user was uh, using different services or different application, that would have been also the same case. Probably we can assign multiple applications to that specific user. So here now we looked in as that user, well, with LinkedIn in this case, you have the application, you launch it, the user will be redirected to the uh, kind of familiar uh, cloud uh, interface, which is the uh, Aruba Central Cloud interface. There we go. Now notice um, this user is, is a customer for Wizlane, and this is the Wizlane uh, as you can see it. And you can now, that user has access to groups, has access to other services within that interface. Now you can go from here, you can go back, uh, this is called services button. You can go back to HPE GreenLake. And in this case, we can see that that user has got one application signed to it, which is basically Aruba Central. Um, you can launch that application from here. You, If you have multiple accounts, you can switch the account you can see uh, the other services based on what uh, privileges or privilege that has been assigned to that user. Now you can here you can invite the user, for example. So you can invite another user to use that account. And uh, this uh, login with the uh, MSP account. And this is where you add customers and so on. So now I would like to add, for example, how to map a device to that customer. So we created the customer now. We assigned a role to the customer, uh, Aruba Central role or some other application, but again, the focus is on Aruba Central. Now you can see a list of customers we have under that MSP account, two customers. So we're gonna view this customer, or we'd like to save, we'd like to delete that customer who is lane limited. So now it's no longer part of the company. So you need to type delete with the uppercase because that has to match. Now you might get an error message that says, you have to remove the application. So we have a service map to that customer. In our case, of course, the service being Aruba Central. You'll go to that customer, click on the applications. You're gonna find this one application that's mapped to that customer. Now you need to delete that application, remove the region. So because the application mapped to the region, so Aruba Central, we need to remove the region and that will uh, take care of removing the application for that specific customer. If we go back to the MSP view now, there's no, uh, you go to dashboard, there's no application available, as you can see. You go back to MSP view. Now, as MSP account holder, or you look at it as an MSP, you can go now to manage customers, and next to the customer, you go and say delete. When you type delete, uppercase, it has to match the uh, case, and you go delete customer, the customer would be deleted. You can clearly see that. So how easy it is. It is straightforward, a little bit different than it used to be before, but that's how it is. Now I need to add devices to the customer. The device, the customer doesn't have any devices. So basically that customer will have to be added a device. So we say we selected one device and we will select the application um, and the application instance, in this case, central. Uh, we would like to go, um, and double check. So we go to that customer, you can see the uh, devices being mapped to that customer. So we need to add subscription. So apply subscription, i.e. license, the uh, renamed it to subscription again. And that's the access point, apply subscription, provided you have the right key. In this case, we are assigning foundation access point uh, subscription. So the two options we have, foundation and advanced, we have foundation apply subscription now that device is fully managed by central for that specific account you can clearly see in the subscription tier foundation ap for the top one and foundation ap for the bottom one of course that the same would be applicable to gateways to switches and uh, that should be the same procedure or the same process that you're going to follow so this is a kind of a quick summary so you can see this an uh, this one is offline but uh, you can clearly see the device has been mapped to the customer. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in a future video for new update uh, for our Central. Thank you.